Hello, hello, my YouTube friends. How are you? Um, Tina here. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you like the content that I have been building for you, please make sure you drop down and um, hit that thumbs up button and like it and subscribe to me um, so I know what to continue to, to um, kind of produce for you guys. <clears throat> Today I am going to talk about um, what's coming up for the month of June. It is looking to be a pretty um, kind of ugly month. The atmosphere coming out of the end of May, we are already seeing it. Um, I have been working with a couple of other psychics on this. Just to kind of give you a heads up on what's going to happen in the month of June. You know, you can brace yourself for it. I don't want anybody to worry. I don't want anybody to panic. Um, it, it, it's not that big a deal. You know, we've gotten through some tough crap in our country and in our lives uh, before, and this is going to be no different. But the month of June is going to show a lot of um, kind of craziness going on in in the country and I am going to talk to you about the planetary alignments right now. Um, first thing we've got going on tomorrow, June the 3rd, the Sun is going to conjunct um, Venus and Venus is right now is retrograde and it is going to bring back some old feelings about um, things make you feel nostalgic you're going to miss um old times old friends old places kind of thing um not a big deal we can all deal with that <clears throat> um june the 5th we do have a full moon in scorpio and that's going to bring about a lot of change and transformation and a lot of emotion you know we're we're kind of uh, sitting on a powder keg right now and the best way to extinguish that before um, anything gets out of hand and out of control because of the emotions that are going to come up with this full moon is to let shit go. You see it on social media, let it go. Um, try not to get caught up in the propaganda. Um June the 6th, we have Mars going, it's going square with the sun. And, you know, that's going to bring about some confusion in our leadership and some of the issues there. Um, June 11th, we have the sun squaring Neptune. And Neptune, again, is bringing about more um, leadership issues. June 13th. We have Mars conjunct Neptune, and over those that week from the 6th to about the 13th, you're going to see some secrets come out. Um, Neptune is kind of a, um, a tough planet, and he brings a lot of things out to light. And I don't know why I'm saying he, but Neptune. Um, and we're going to see a lot of confusion. A lot of secrets are going to come out. Neptune also rules oil and gas. And we are going to see the prices start to climb. We are already, already starting to see that happen a little bit. Um, and we're going to see more rioting. Um... The protesters, although they start out being peaceful, are going to be affected by these planetary um, alignments. It is going to affect them, and not in a good way. And the bad part of it is, is nothing good is going to come from even the protests. You know what? I'm all for a good peaceful protest. I protested in high school. Um, some of you can remember back in high school, I um, <clears throat> headed up a protest and we had a sit-down strike 
in school so that the girls would be allowed to wear um, slacks, pants. Um, I don't. Jeans weren't even that big a deal back then. We just wanted pants, slacks. Let us let us uh, cover our legs and um, kind of be more natural and hang out at school. So anyway, I'm you know I'm all about that that peaceful thing, but. Um, that was a sit-down strike in high school. Not in the streets. Um, but that's that's some of what's going to happen. Now, June 18th, Mars, Mars goes into Pisces. And that's, you know, Pisces kind of, even though it's a water sign, kind of lights um, an ignition to a lot of things. Um, there's going to be more anger. There's going to be more warlike uh, proclamations. There's going to be a lot more heavy feeling in the month of June. <clears throat> you know, and, and the reason I'm even saying this is because you don't have to buy into it. You don't have to let it uh, get in your head. You don't have to keep thinking about it. Please, please do not worry about it. Um, some of the things that are happening. Don't let yourself get caught up in the crap. Now, June 18th, we had Mars going into Pisces. We also, on the same day, have Mercury going direct. Now, that's the big catchphrase there, man. Blame it on Mercury. It's, you know, Mercury's retrograde. I'm sorry, Mercury goes retrograde, not direct. <clears throat> Blame it on Mercury retrograde. Um... Anytime Mercury goes retrograde, it affects travel and communications, which is the internet. Um, I think near the 18th, you should limit your travel. You could be, find um, roadblocks, detours. There may be more protests uh, popping up. So you may want to limit your travel. Um, do not travel to the big cities. Keep out of that crap. Um, just be on the safe side. You know, I, I'm not even certain that that more um, destruction is going to happen. But uh, just be careful. Don't be, you know, you know, you've got a little bit of a warning. So, you know, kind of follow it a little bit. Um, we are actually going in, there's going to be three eclipses in the month of June. And any time you have eclipse season, and it's rare that we're going to have three within um, one month. It's actually to July the 3rd, I think it is. Um, but it's taking place, the majority of the energy is happening in June. Um, anytime you see what we call an eclipse season, it is always followed by earthquakes. There will be earthquakes around the world. They may not be big, they may not be devastating, but there it, it it is going to trigger more more fear, more anxiety. Um, and it's not going to happen all in the United States, okay? This is all going to happen around the world. We are actually going into a, a time that the planetary alignments are very close to what they were um, back on 9-11 um, when we had some um, a really sad time in our country. You can see things are lining up for that, but this is... Um, kind of an opportunity to be able to sidestep that. <clears throat> um, let's see. On June 29th through the 30th, we have Jupiter conjuncting Pluto. And Pluto is one of those planets that when the, its energy gets into something, it actually promotes um, explosive events. So clear to the end of June, we are going to see some... Some more of the repercussions of the protests and those issues going on. It is going to be a heavy month. But 
don't feed into the negativity. Don't let that get to you. Um, it is a big, big opportunity to <clears throat> remember how to pray. Pull in it any positive energy any way you can. Get a hold of your your God, <clears throat> whoever and however you believe in, <clears throat> and ask for peace. You know, um, pray for peace and that cooler heads prevail. We have the power as light workers. And, you know, Christians, you kind of fall in the same category as light workers because, you know, you, you do kind of work with a, what's called a Christ consciousness. And that's kind of where a lot of the new age thinking is, you know, kind of because we look at Jesus as uh, one of the original light workers. You know, he was teaching healing. He was teaching how to manifest. He was teaching um, how to bring about change. And, you know, they, you know, they didn't want that shit back then. Um, didn't want this guy coming along and, and teaching you that things can be better because, when there is upheaval and there is panic, there is also that opportunity for people to come in and take control. And we're not going to let that happen as light workers. We are going to pull in that good energy. We are going to pull in the light. We are going to circle our homes, our families, our friends. We're going to, we can circle our towns with light and love. Um, and, and it's very simple to do. Your, your heart produces the biggest um, electromagnetic field in your body. And it's proven by science. And what is also proven by science is that you can expand that energy by merely concentrating on spreading love from your heart area or your heart chakra. And you expand that circle around you just by thinking about it. Just by pushing love. Um, no spells, no incantations, just just love. You know, uh, poor Moses wouldn't have had to carry those two stone tablets down off of the mountain if he could have just got his followers to understand love. Um, you don't have to murder, just love him. You don't have to covet thy neighbor, just love him. <laughs> Don't speak uh, falsely about your neighbor. Just love them. Okay, just love. Love is how Source wants us to, to communicate. Um, love is how Source wants us to expand and to grow. You know, you, we get a lot of abundance. We get a lot of good things uh, manifested in our lives whenever we love unconditionally. So take that area of your chest and while you're praying, just visualize circling your body, just like a hula hoop out around you. And that it, you push it out farther and farther every time. Um, and just push that love right out. Just concentrate on unconditional love. Um, love your neighbor as you love yourself. It's a pretty simple concept. The only reason I was bringing up um, some of this heaviness that's coming up so that you can kind of brace for it. You know it's coming. Don't get caught up in it. Um, let that shit go. Let that shit go. Don't let it control you. Um, you, you we, there are a lot of people who are dealing with anxiety right now because of the emotional things that are taking place. Talk yourself out of the anxiety. Um, tell yourself this too will pass. It doesn't affect us right directly. Let it go. If it doesn't affect us tomorrow even, let it go. Keep your thoughts together. together. Um, spread that love. Push it out there. <clears throat> And just get, get yourselves kind of ready for what June may bring. Now, it, it's going to be kind of a, it's going to carry over to July and August a little bit. You're, we're going to start seeing things get better in September. And now that comes to the, the pivotal point um, that 
all of this crap is purging a lot of negativity off of the globe. It's bringing a lot of bad things to light so we can get rid of it. It is also purging our economic system. It is going to almost have to be destroyed and rebuilt um, in order to be more functional in the new the, this the, the new normal, the new things that we are dealing with in our lives. Um, just remember to walk away from any issues. Don't get yourself caught up in um, social media. And just remember that I love you guys. And I will continue to send love and light to not only you, to my neighborhood, to my town, to my county, to the state, and for the good old USA. God bless America. And God bless you guys. Sending you love and light till next time.